Hi everybody, the Spooky, and um, today I want to just go over one of the basic features of Vegas, and that is panning and cropping. Okay, a um, couple people have asked me how you actually pan and crop, so I'm going to move my little display window up here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is so we've got our video clip in here. We're going to go to the event pan crop. Now you'll notice it starts out highlighting the edges of the photo as it originally was intended but normally that's not uh, what we want for the size so what we're going to do we're going to change this here we're going to go to a 4 by 3 ratio okay so that we can do a nice smooth pan we're going to take this here and we're going to move it to the left now this is going to be our start point. Okay, as you see right here, there's our start point. Then we're going to create an end point. Okay, let's move that a little bit further in here so it stops before the end of the clip. And we're going to move this. Now I'm going to lock this so that it can only move left to right so that I don't accidentally go outside the boundaries. And then we're going to go ahead and play that. So let's see how that looks. Okay, you've got a nice smooth video transition there. It's pretty simple to do pan and crop. Okay. Now you can also do some other things with this. For instance, if you want uh, to zoom into a portion of this video, okay, let's say um, eh, right about uh, two thirds of the way in, I want to zoom in on this building. I'm going to unlock this for a second. Maybe zoom up to the skyline. We can do that. Okay. And then we'll have a zoom back out. So it's, what it's going to do is it's going to start out full here it's going to zoom in on the building. And then it's going to zoom back out. Now one of the tricks I've learned watching other people's videos uh -huh, is disabling the, re the resampling of the video. If you want it to be a little bit smoother and not get uh, kind of those edges, uh, it almost looks pixelized when you zoom and pan you can right click on it okay you can go down to your switches and turn smart resample off that will make the video flow smoother you won't see the pixelization as easily and I think you'll find that to be a big benefit especially if you're uh, working with something like that building has kind of got a wavy look to it it'll help to eliminate a lot of that by disabling that smart resampling but this is just a quickie tutorial to show you what you can do uh, one last thing here is you have the ability uh, with the pan crop uh, to make it spin if you want so let's say I wanted it to go in here but I wanted it to spin So now what it's going to do is it's going to come to this point here, then it's going to spin, and then out. Okay, real simple, uh, nothing real magical about it there, but um, it's one of the basic functions and you need to know how to do this uh, a lot of times to make your videos. Thanks.